either a pretty screen or a blank screen at the moment because I just want to introduce this and I want to crack straight on with it. Madame Glam Sale. Wow. I'm going to do you a set of nails, but before I do, I just need you to see this. Ready? The offer expires on the 21st of July at midnight, so don't mess about, don't wait. Can you see this? Keeps flashing up on the screen here. We've got 30% off everything. All these, all these, they're VIP prices that you can see there. So if you're a VIP, you get 50% off anyway. So you get £10.98 instead of £21.95 because you get your 50% off. If you don't want to use the VIP, which takes, I think it's $29.99 every month, and it kind of saves it for you till you want to spend it. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then use one of these. We've got 30% off everything, or 40% off if you buy four or more and you're a non-VIP. We've got 50% off as standard for your VIP, which is fabulous. And there's a 65% off outlet. I'm just going to show you what's in it. Oh my God. Normally you click on somebody's clearance or outlet and there's three or four things in there, a couple of files and a couple of decals that nobody wanted. Look at this. This is the outlet. Discounted gel polish up to 60% off. Same quality, same size, no compromises. Look at these. Right, I was looking down this and thought to myself, well, I want the first four. Well, I want the first eight. Oh, there's more. I love that Serena. Oh, look at Candy Muncher. That's different. <laughs> then I went down and I went down and there's jellies and there's, this is Oz. Look at that. I've got to have that. I've got to have double trouble. Oh, more jellies. And then, guess what? Guess what? There's four pages of Outlook stuff. So let's have a look what's on the last page. Oh, more polish. So up to £9.43. Isn't that incredible? From 7 68 to £9.43. <sighs> Just had to share that. So exciting. Right, on to some nails. <laughs> so... If you watched the last video, you'll have seen that I was uh, messing about playing with these gel paints from Madame Glam uh, that they very kindly sent me and uh, it's my first time using them so I was playing, mixing colours and stuff like that but I don't want to put it all away <laughs> so what I've done is I've got Eve and I've got some tips I've stuck on uh, quite precariously really because I've, I've run out of nail glue um, yeah I think I took it to my daughter's and that's where it stayed. Um, so I've got these nail tips on. These are press-ons um, that I bought, um, just plain ones. And I've decided to stick them on and just show. These are pale blue and uh, you might have got some press-ons or had a design on, uh, filed it off, got a bit of residual colour. And I thought I'll try these on top of this, um, even the white, because... From what I can see, it's a good option is to use a gel paint when you want to cover something up. So we'll have a go with that. But I want to use all three. So I found a foil out that it is it could be made to measure to go with these colours. So um, all I've done so far is stuck them on. They might fall off halfway through because <laughs> I've had to try and UV gel them. That's a point, actually, while you're there. If you put in tips on, use the stickers that they send or use normal glue because if the light can't penetrate, it's not going to cure the gel. So don't stick it on like we have been with Builder Gel and stuff. Uh, I know I normally stick them on with Madame Brown Builder Gel, but that's that anyway, no waffling. So all I've done is I've given them a buff just to take that shiny surface off and then I'll give it a little brush. Get rid of any bits of fluff. Um, I brush underneath as well because I don't want to pick it up on my thumb and drop it on it. So I always give her a little bit of a brush underneath. She likes a belly rubbing. And, um, 
and then I'm going to do an alcohol. And just give it a little brush down as well. Get rid of any dust in the cuticles or in the cuticle area. Get rid of some dust. There we go. She's happy. And hopefully that'll be it. Biggest job for me is deciding what I want to do, to be fair. So, I'm going to base coat them all. Uh, and I've put it away. Where is it? Base coat. Because I was... I, worked, I, uh, I was uh, going to finish, but I left it all out so I could come back and play again. So, I'm just going to go through with some base coat for them all and I'll be back in a sec. So that's two coats of that and then I'm going to clean the sticky layer off because I don't want anything to get stuck to it. Right, now what I'm going to do is I haven't got, I really need to go shopping, I haven't got uh, the right nudie colour that I want. So what I'm going to do is I've got um, Fancy Bikini which I absolutely love, but I want it slightly pinker. Sorry, but these side walls on this this hand are a bit sticky outy because I've filed them and. So uh, I'm just going to paint, now bear with, I'm not the best at straight lines. All I'm doing is putting it on a palette and I'm going to, just going to stroke it towards me, but I need it nearer my hand. <laughs>
It's higher up than that one. Or is it? Yeah. Hmm. It is what it is. You keep your fingers moving fast, nobody will notice, won't they? <laughs> Look at this beauty. No! Oh, oh, oh. Told you it was tailor made, didn't I? Which bit? I want pink and blue. Top coat then. And into there I'm going to put some teeny tiny uh, stones. Just into the top coat. I'd put glue on if you were going to be wearing them out and about. Don't normally, but I'm going to play with a bit of bling. Which might have been easier if I could have found my glue, but never mind. They're going to slide about a bit on here, aren't they?
Right, what do you think of these then? A bit bling for me, aren't they? Wow, look at this. A bit flash. Probably not the straightest uh, French. Or not the best shape, should I say. But, uh, yeah, lots of... Lots of colour for summer. Love you loads. Take care. Be careful in all this heat. See you soon. Bye.